All right, love bugs, you have the patience card and the beloved card that came out. I had to stop the video. The overall energy was uh, rebirth, king of swords and temperance card. Somebody here wants to experience love and companionship on a deeper level. Somebody here could also have Pluto and Venus um, conjuncting in their birth charts. Somebody here is astrologically being pulled towards companionship, being pulled towards love. If this is about your your companion that's coming towards you, this person has slowly but surely been transforming, been changing. You know that card that said that I that I made and it says dwarf in the north. This person right here was living beneath their astrological potential. They didn't recognize love. They could be a person that it took some time for them to be transformed astrologically, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, all of that. But the fact of the matter is they're changing now. This could also be a person that was fighting off love, fighting off companionship. But this is the divine time. This is happening. The songs that came to me was um Anthony Hamilton, Giving You the Best of Me, Amazing. Uh, Somebody here is going to fall deep in love also, regardless, because you're... Something is conjuncting for a person, you and a person, your solar plexus and your heart chakra, they're being aligned, they're being harmonized. And this is a person, somebody here is somebody here is desiring love from a deeper level. It's like their solar plexus telling them it's time, it's the one, move forward in this, go ahead, let your guard down, be romantic. Um be passive aggressive be loving be kind be patient uh somebody here is having to come out of that cold detached energy or somebody here could be like a square versus another person here being a circle one of you all could be a little more well-rounded than the other this relationship is going to transform the both of you all into this is going to be a romantic relationship a lot of hugs a lot of affection because it's what it is what their birth chart is requiring for them it's what it, it is they're astrologically set to be this way and now it's just that time this is also a person that could have not wanted to ever marry somebody who could have already been married so somebody could have not wanted to be like remarried live with a person or something like that but astrologically this is this is going to happen all right uh quit your worrying baby quit your crying david banner and anthony hamilton look those two songs up we can conquer the world anthony hamilton giving you the best of me this person will give you the best of them because astrologically they're changing spiritually they're changing something physical is gonna be recognized about this person all right let's see what else you have air energy and fire uh, energy the two of swords a person has like stalled on relationships stalled on dating stalled in companionship because this is somebody who's afraid of love that's what it is though because pluto and venus is right there they were in fear of love. Now they're ready. Look at there. They're on top of the world. This is somebody right here. They didn't recognize love in natural places or in normal places. They could have thought like, you know, somebody here, of course, like anybody could have had a bad relationship. But somebody here also could have been could be the kind of person they never believed in love because they've never experienced it. If they were married, they could have not gotten married for love. If they lived with a person before, they could not live with that person because they loved them. This because this is a person right here where it makes sense. The king of swords, he or she, they don't always do things of matters of the heart. They do what it makes sense. This is what's best to do. This is the best thing. Now their heart. Now that love's taking over. Love is taking over this person, honey. See, they've been trying to fight and hold back. But the Lord is sending this person into your life or this, this person to your life, your person, that person, you into that person's life to transform them, to change them. This is going to be a very romantic couple. You're bringing out something new in this person. This is going to be a new person that comes into your life that's meant to bring out something new in you. This could, this could be a person that was very, very fixed 
very, very thick, very, very complacent. They could be outdated. They could be what they call old fashioned or very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. And it took some, this is somebody here that took some, it took time for them to recognize that, you know, I need love. I want love and allow love to take over their heart. But it's it's that's how astrology works with us. Astrologically, this was bound to happen. That's why this person going to give you the best of them, and it's going to be amazing. You won't have to worry. You won't have to stress. You won't have to struggle. This will not be a struggle, love. It's going to be so easy, so free. This person is going to be a, a giver of love, a giver of affection, a giver of kisses. The two of pentacles, the world card, the two of pentacles. A person didn't prioritize love. They didn't make time for it. Now God is making them make time to have something more in their life. And this is a person that needed more flavor. They also needed more seasoning. Sometimes your love life is not affected because... Of you, your love life can be affected because your soulmate, your companion, was not ready. This person has some um, like soulish things they had to work on, some deeper things, some darker things in the area of romance, of affection, of love. This could be a person that was not affectionate at all or they never had it. And then they just made time. They made excuses when they were the reason to try for companionship. You're getting a companion that's going to be full of love. And this companion right here, y'all are also going to have fun together. Explore, laughing, getting out, doing things. It could also be traveling the world. A passport could be needed here. This could also be someone that travels abroad already, travels a lot. Someone here, of course, could be of a different race, different nationality. But this person right here, you're meant to explore something very specific. Your purposes of life will align and complement each other. You'll be able to feel this person intuitively. You can feel when they're, when they're not harmonized. You'll be able to feel the love from them. This is the kind of person, this, this, this connection right here, you know how everybody have little spats, arguments. Even when y'all have an off day, you can tell y'all still love each other because this is going to be a very intuitive connection that's built on the foundations of love, of harmony, of peace, of new beginnings, of structure. My God. Ooh. Lord have mercy. See, somebody here was afraid to love, afraid to let their guard down. What's the six of wands? What's the six of wands? Yep, the six of wands, the six of pentacles. Indefinitely, this is going to be a spiritual connection. Excuse me, the king of swords is going to meet the queen of swords. And this is your divine counterpart. Y'all are very similar. Not the exact same, but you're very similar. Y'all have a lot in common. Two people that can be very, um, that does not make time for lo love, does not, have not had affectionate relationships or not been affectionate themselves. Two people are coming together that may be opposite, but yet the same. And there's going to be a lot of changing. This relationship is going to break the both of you down. Not in a bad way, in a good way. And it is going to be a full-fledged connection. Oh, now this right here is going to be companionship, harmony, peace. All right, Pluto and uh, Venus is doing its thing, honey. It definitely is conjuncting for somebody here. Close this out. Uh-oh, close this out. <gasps> Look at there. I told y'all. The Ten of Cups. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, God. Look at there. The Fool card. Get ready for a journey of happiness, of laughter, of smiling. This is the year of conception. This is the year of pregnancy and birth. This is for some of y'all, you're going to birth out a new relationship. In this, in some of these relationships, there are going to um, come babies, specific babies. Spiritual connections are coming together, are manifesting, they're materializing, and they're going to be experienced. Some of y'all are meant to birth out children and place your seeds on this earth. Because your, your children are going to be legacy leavers of love, of harmony. It's your soulmate. Ah! All right. Let's see. What else do they need to know to close this out? Simple. Simple message here. 
worth waiting for. It may have taken some time, the patient's card. God knows what he does and how he does it with us, to us, and for us. Some of you all had to work out some things within yourself. Religious um, views, religious factors are here that affect affects or affected your love life addictions codependencies uh stuck on people habits behaviors it's like a person had to evolve to truly understand what love really is and what it could be here it is to stay optimistic because your companion you're going to be conjuncted by your solar plexus and your heart chakra and it's going to take you into a whole new journey of what love is, what a relationship is, what the Ten of Cups is. Somebody here, somebody here really already loves deep, to be honest with you. They love hard. They're they fall deep, but they fight it. The fight is over. It's gonna this this, this gonna happen. If this is if this is already in the process, this is gonna help you understand your person. Why they can get so cold or withdrawn or pulled back or appear as if they don't care because the spirit has been working on the inside of them with several factors of their life from the soulless realm. And now it's going to birth a person that's full, born, reborn, but ready and able to love and be loved. I also feel like somebody here is the kind of person that always loved people and never got love back. This is going to be equally yoked. Two people will be in love, specifically because of Pluto and Venus. And it's going. This is going to be a romantic. This is a romantic couple coming, hugging, touching, kissing, hand holding, pats on the back, open doors, soft communication. Somebody who could also be have, have like an aggressive side of them. And for sex, for your sex is not going to be sex. It's going to be love making. Let me let me stop right there. I I I, I might do a reading on that. But it's gonna it's gonna somebody who had to had to ascend and know what love making is. It's a spirit working with them. Um, you got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, and Cancer. This person had to transform. They had to be broken out of something to be broken into something. Love, strong will, purpose, power, confidence, their self-esteem. This relationship is going to do your self-esteem a lot of good. Peace and blessing. Great day. Congratulations. Namaste.